Hey, 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 what's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another, another travel vlog. So here we are in New Plymouth at the moment, which is about a four and a half hour drive from Auckland. So we're not sure what we're going to do today, though. We're going to be going to different places here in New Plymouth. It's only a small town, so um, there's only limited of things to do and see here. So I'll take you along with us. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I make travel lifestyle videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I'll see you on the road. All right, everyone. So we're here in Pukekura Park, which is about a 52 hectare uh, park. And it's located just at the heart of New Plymouth. It's quite a huge park though, that's why we didn't know where to park our car. So we just parked on the side of the road. It's like pretty much close to this, um, it's this street. I think Shortland Street is what it's called. And we just have to go into the, go into the walkway and then you see like this big lake and this man-made waterfall. It's pretty cool, like apparently at night time it actually lights up uh, and then you press this Actually, you press this button, the waterfall doesn't go all the time, so you have to press this button and then it'll it'll just turn on and it'll, it'll show this. I don't know if you can see it, guys. So, yeah, we're just gonna explore the park. I don't know if we're gonna go through the whole 52 hectares, but um, we'll see because we only have a few few more hours here before we have to drive back home to Auckland or else it's gonna be too dark. I reckon you can only spend about Maybe two days or three days here in New Plymouth. They've also got this like cafe in the middle of the lake, which we're gonna try. I'm probably gonna try one of their coffees, but um, I'm not sure. Do you want a coffee? Yes. You want a Let's coffee? go get a coffee. Because yeah. we're coffee. gonna be we're gonna be the drivers for today, so we definitely need the caffeine fix before we head back home. I love you, a latte. <laughs> Hey, do you guys eat ice lattes? Ice lattes? No, we've got ice coffee and ice chocolate. Okay, I'll just grab a regular latte. Pardon me? Just a regular latte. Like a two sugar. Um, our latte is coming in one size and it's the big size. That's fine. Right. Take away this. Take away. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. No worries. Have a good day. Thanks. Good <laughs> morning. Okay. Okay. Yummy. Yeah? Okay. What flavor did you get? Salted caramel. Salted caramel. From Kapiti. Kapiti ice cream. How much is that? This is five dollars for one scoop. One scoop. And six dollars for two scoops. You haven't even asked me if I wanted some. Mm, try more. <laughs> Alright guys, so I got myself a trusty double shot latte and yeah, hopefully this is gonna keep me up the whole day next we're gonna be heading off to um, I think sort of like a clock tower in the city I'm not really sure if we're gonna go there or not it's quite easy to access places here in New Plymouth the, uh, the drive isn't too far like even getting to the visitor center the Egmont visitor center it's only just like a few minutes like most likely under an hour to get there so yeah we'll take you along with us uh, I'm all caffeined up and let's go. If you guys want, you can also access this um, Pokekura Park buggy, which is five dollars for adults and two dollars for children. But you do have to call the driver though, which is that number there, and it's gonna take you around the park and show you the um, hot spots here in the park because it's quite a big park. So we're here in Terrawarawa Bridge, which is pretty much just here in the city center as well. And it has this like pretty spectacular um, sort of architecture 
where uh, the bridge actually looks like one of those, uh, like a T-Rex's ribcage. I don't know if that's how it's the best way to explain it, but I think it looks like that. So it's pretty much a shared bridge for pedestrians and cyclists to share. And once you get across the bridge, you can actually see Mount Taranaki from here. So we're gonna take a few photos here and then, um, yeah, hopefully go to the next destination. Bobby Shark! Oh. <laughs> stop is here in North Egmont's visitor center which is about 30 minutes from the city where you can see all the different tracks going to um, the summit of Mount Egmont or you can actually take tracks that are just less than an hour or less than two hours uh, if you're a bit tight on time so you usually start here in North Egmont and then yeah you go from there um, they also have this like interactive zone. They show like um, the a lot of like information stuff around here as well, like that information stuff. So yeah, just have a read if you're here. Look around, uh, explore this um, little visitor center, and you can always ask one of the staff here if you're not sure if what kind of hikes are there or what's the safest hike or just depending on the weather. And if you're also wondering, there's a lot of like Maori history here. Uh, if you're wondering about in, like, the culture and the, the cultural history of the place, uh, there's a lot here in this place here in this village center. So I suggest you guys spend like maybe just a few minutes here just to read through all the things that's around here in the visitor center. Remember that you will be in an alpine environment, which means there's a good chance you will experience heavy rain, strong winds, snow, and freezing temperatures, even in the height of summer. Yes. You will need warm and waterproof clothing, as well as a good pair of trekking boots. There is no access to water on the climb, so take enough to last the whole day. We actually climbed this uh, mountain two years ago in 2018, but we didn't record it. I think we were hiking for about six hours and we needed two more hours to get to the summit but it was like in April I think we did it. It was snowing really bad and it was raining really hard too so we had to go back. We didn't reach the summit then but hopefully next time I will actually, I will actually go up to the summit. Okay guys so actually on our way back home we managed to stop here at it's called the Three Sisters so like it's pretty much one hour and a bit out of New Plymouth uh, going north back to Auckland so you can see like the three sisters which is over there those three sort of pillars there um, are what is called the three sisters so there's also a beach here um, that you can go for a swim in but we're probably not gonna swim because we didn't bring any um, swimwear So we only covered about three places today here in New Plymouth. There's actually a lot more to see here, but we've kind of run out of time and we want to get home to Auckland. So I guess this will be it for now. Uh, maybe I'll come back here to New Plymouth and actually explore more of what I haven't seen. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.